Everybody's looking for the next pay-per-view star. Can Danny be that? We saw with Golovkin, only 150,000. Cotto Canelo did a lot better, but is, can Danny Garcia be the next guy that brings that attention? I mean, Danny, listen, Danny's 31 and 0 with 18 KOs. I mean, it's not like he just started yesterday. He's been doing it already for almost seven years, almost eight years already. And people still, I mean, I mean, he's 31 and 0. I mean, I mean, it's up to the people. And if not, it, it doesn't matter, baby, because we got Al Heyman, the father of the fathers. Angel Guerrero's last Doesn't fight. matter. We don't need pay per view. Angel Guerrero's last fight, uh, a lot of people thought he lost. It just didn't look as good. How do you not underestimate Guerrero going into this fight? Well, the thing is this because just because he fought like that that night doesn't mean he won't fight Danny like that. That's why, because styles make fights. And just because you had a. It's like when you spar, you do bad in the gym. People think you suck. You might spar with a bum, and the bum might get over on you. Don't mean you want to fight like that. It doesn't mean it. I got to take him very seriously. Very, very serious. I don't care who he fought. It, to me, he won because by in black and white, he won. I got to take him very seriously. I'm not going to underestimate him because at the end of the day, he's coming to win. And I'm not going to take him. Danny's 31 and 0, and nobody taking that zero away. Not yet, anyway. Just coming into like Staples Center, obviously, Guerrero is going to have a good fan base here. We're in LA, a lot of Mexicans oh, yeah. here. Uh, right. Is that something you guys are worried about? Does well, Danny no, care no, about I can't him? worry about that because if I'm worrying about that, then I'm fighting with the crowd. That's not my job. That's the security from the Staples Center. Make sure, <laughs> and we don't get no bombs and all that. We good. As long as we don't get no regimes and shit, we good. You and Danny have a, a lot I'm of Puerto. Oh. I don't know about you, but I'm running. Don't we'll follow. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You and Danny have a lot of Puerto Rican pride, and Guerrero has a lot of Mexican pride. Why isn't that part of the story? Since we've been seeing this over and over, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Why isn't that been part of the story, or will it become that today? It's gonna be good. Today's the press conference. Today is the beginning of the press conference. I mean, today is the beginning of the, of the fight. Basic. I mean, the fight been on. But today is the first day they they declaring it to fight the January 23rd. But Cotto and Canelo, so we getting a rematch because we taking that L back. Is Danny the biggest Puerto Rican star right now in boxing? Well, to me he is. Why? To me he is because people keep saying he's not Puerto Rican. Well, how are you not Puerto Rican? I'm Puerto Rican. He's Puerto Rican. Exactly. But the thing is that if they say he's not Puerto Rican, but Cotto was born in Connecticut. How he Puerto Rican? And besides the point, we went to Puerto Rico, the governor of Puerto Rico declared him a born in Puerto Rico, and they gave him a certificate like he was born. So this, they, I think they call it the six cameras of Puerto Rico. They declared him 100% Puerto Rico, so he's 100% Puerto okay, Rico. He's more Puerto Rican than I am Puerto Rico. Okay, Danny got six toes. How does that help him as a fighter, Angel? Well, I think it helps him because he's different. He's an alien. Like, Bernard's an alien. I mean, in Philly, everybody in Philly is alien. <laughs> is that something about the East Coast? <laughs>